Hey, welcome to Hunters Connect. Michael Parenti here just arrowed his first bull elk. In this video, we're gonna show you how to cut up an elk. And this is just the way I do it. There are a ton of different ways to do it. Uh, we're gonna use the gutless method. I don't gut elk because they're a very large animal. And usually they die in places that uh, they're difficult to deal with. Just like this one, we're on a steep side hill. He's barely hung up right here. I think we got him in a position that he's gonna stay. So one thing to have in your pack that's super helpful is some paracord, just to tie up a leg or antlers or whatever you need to do to work on him. We're not gonna get super in depth in this video, but we're gonna walk through the basic cuts and how you do it. There's really no better way to do it than to be with someone when they're doing it for the first time, but hopefully I can show Michael how this is done and he can get through this and It'll give you some insights for when you actually have an elk on the ground. And so you're gonna do one side at a time. So we're gonna get the first front shoulder off and then the same side hind quarter off. And then we're gonna get the back strap, the tenderloin before we flip it and do the other side. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna make a dorsal cut just right down the backbone. We're gonna go all the way down to the base of the neck and then all the way to the hind quarter. So once we get the skin off that front shoulder, I'm not gonna skin the hind quarter yet, just the front shoulder. Once I get that skin off, I'm gonna to continue to skin it all the way to the neck as well. But once I get all that skin off, we're gonna peel the front shoulder off and you just cut right along the brisket. If you, and then just cut against all the rib bones and just fillet that meat. Fillet it across the ribs, all the way up, and then eventually you see the back strap. Try not to hit the back strap, but just keep filleting. Pull that leg off and it'll separate and you have your first quarter. Put that in a game bag and then you're gonna to wanna to put it in shade somewhere where it's breezy. Ideally shade, cool spot, low spot, anywhere that it's gonna cool down quickly. After that, we're gonna to continue to fillet the neck meat off. Depending on what position the elk is in, sometimes you can do the whole neck roast in one go. A lot of times I just do the same thing. I do just the, just the one side and then I'll flip it and I'll get the other side. But we'll fillet all the neck meat off all the way to the base of the skull. Definitely check your wanton waste laws in each state. I always take the meat regardless because it's really good meat. You can braise it, you can burger it. It's all sorts of stuff you can do. You don't have to keep it in all states, but I highly recommend it. Uh, once we have the neck meat, we're gonna, if you missed any rib meat when you filleted your front shoulder off, now's the time to continue to fillet that rib meat off. You can get between the ribs. You can cut out the meat between the ribs. Get as much meat off of that as you can or and the brisket as well. Just all that rib plate you can trim off. Uh, from there, we're gonna peel back and skin the hind quarter. Once we have the hind quarter skinned, same thing, just skin it all the way around, have someone hold it up ideally. And this is where it's a little tricky and it's, a, it's really hard to explain, uh, but you have to cut against the pelvis and it's very strangely shaped. <laughs> Until you've done it, it's hard to know where to make these cuts. But if you continue to fillet, eventually you'll hit the hip joint. When you hit the hip joint, there's a little tendon in there and you're gonna cut that and pop that. Once it's popped, then you can flip it back to the other side, come in from the top and you cut down the top, just kind of right along the spine, fillet down along the pelvis and eventually it takes a little time. This is tricky, it's hard to do, but eventually you can separate that hind quarter, pull it off from the hip joint, put that in the game bag, hang it in the shade. Also in your state, make sure you check what the evidence of sex laws are. A lot of times you have to leave evidence of sex attached to a portion of meat. So we're gonna leave a testicle attached to this hind quarter when we skin it off. So that's, you gotta be careful. Leave the skin attached and trim around the testicles and or the penis, whatever the evidence of sex requirement is in your state. Trim around it and leave that naturally attached to the meat. From there, you take the back strap off. This is the most fun part for me. It's really easy once you have the quarters off, you can fillet right underneath and then you fillet right along the backbone and then it just comes off in this beautiful chunk of meat. So with the tenderloin, the tenderloin's a little tricky, especially on the gutless method. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press down on the guts and as you're pressing down, you kind of start to fillet underneath the spine. So there's these rib, or I don't even know what these bones are, but the bones that come out from the backbone and you fillet right underneath them against the bones and you can feel the tenderloin. If you feel in there and feel kind of where it's at, you fillet right along there and you just have to work it out slowly and you can pull that out. From there though, you flip the elk and then you just repeat the process. Exact same thing over again. You're gonna have yourself a ton of really great tasty meat.
Well, this bull's all cut up. Uh, we got all the quarters off, we got all the scrap meat off, uh, the heart, the head separated, everything's ready to go. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, let us know. If you have any other ideas or comments, questions that we can make videos on, let us know. But have a great hunting season.